I have to say, my comments have been flooded with requests to react to some songs from Encanto, which is a Disney musical starring Stephanie Beatrice, and that in and of itself is exciting. So we're gonna get to listen to a few songs today. I mean, it's a Disney movie, so I'm pretty sure I know the kind of vibe we're gonna get, but from the promos and stuff I've seen, it seems really interesting. But first, I wanna take a quick second to talk to you about the sponsor of today's video, Dice Dreams. Dice Dreams is available on both Android and iOS, and you can download it for free from the Google Play Store or the App Store. When I first loaded up the game, I thought it was a bit strange in the best way. You're essentially the leader of these little peons, and the game mostly revolves around rolling dice in order to get coins and other in-game advantages. Advantages for what you say? A few things, but my favorite of which is player versus player usage and attacking other people's kingdoms. The point at which I was sold on this game was this very specific moment where I was able to attack someone, and the way I did it was by slingshot shot in one of my peons right at their stuff. But you can also play with your friends and even take part in tournaments. There is so much to do and new players who use my link in the description will get 200 dice rolls and a million coins on their third day of playing. So please go and use my link down below and support Dice Dreams for being kind enough to sponsor today's video. So the first one we're going to be listening to is called Surface Pressure. Why would anything be wrong? I'm totally fine. The magic's fine. Luis is fine. I'm totally not nervous. <laughs> I love this character already. They're a total vibe. Your eyes doing the thing. I'm the strong one. I'm not nervous. Bit of a different sound for a Disney movie. I'm here for it. And I glow because I know what my worth is. Damn. Hey, where are you going? She is a boss. Diamonds and platinum. I find them. I platinum. I take one. She is terrifying in the best way. <laughs> I feel berserk as a tightrope walker in a three ring circus. Yes, I love the beat. Oh my gosh. I'm pretty sure I'm worth Oh. Okay, so it sounds like she's singing about the anxiety she has underneath this larger than life, incredibly strong, awesome character, which is fascinating because I love the exploration of strong characters feeling like that. Oh, she's so cool. Wouldn't really be expecting like, I don't know the hip hop style here, but it's working. This is so different. Under the surface, I had my nerves and it wore since I worry something is gonna hurt us. Yeah, so it's totally about that worry, that like self doubt. Line up the dominoes, the light wind blows. You try to stop it, stop it, but on and on it goes. But Damn, dude, her vocals are so good. The crushing weight of expectations would that free some room up for. That is like such an interesting melody and a huge change from the rest of the song. That's such a good like breakdown and bass line. Give it to your sister, it doesn't hurt and see if she can handle every family burden. Dude, it's kind of sad though. She is like so freaking cool though. Okay, that was awesome. What a great start. Holy crap. This is literally gonna make me want to watch the movie. As I said before, I really enjoy the exploration of, I guess, character archetypes, taking that idea of that seemingly mentally and physically strong character and seeing how they would react if we applied real world problems like anxiety and allowing for such a more like raw and real character. It is such a fabulous choice. And so far it's made me really intrigued by this movie. The next one is called Waiting on a Miracle and seems to be a Stephanie B. Beatrice's solo song, phenomenally exciting. God, this is so dramatic already. Don't be upset, I'm mad at all. Okay, so far it's a big change from that first one, but you need that variety in a musical like this. I like the deep strums and that like raw vocal layer coming in. It's nice. Got a nice voice, doesn't she? I can't move the mountains. Okay. And now we're dealing with her anxiety, like the opposite end of the spectrum. My room, waiting on a miracle. I'm really enjoying how like chesty her voice is. Always walking alone. Oh yes, uh, run it down. Like I'm still at that door, longing to shine. I feel like I could see a high note coming here.
This is making me so happy, but I feel like it's kind of sad. Oh, this is, this is nice. I'm just gonna, just gonna vibe. Oh, good change too. I really like how the beat and music is just surrounding the voice. They're complementing each other really well. I love the rhythm of that man. Damn! Like I said, I wasn't sure what I was in for with Stephanie's voice, but hot damn! She killed that! It was beautifully sung and really well composed and is just pulling me in even further to this movie. The next one is called We Don't Talk About Bruno, who I assume is like a shunned member of the family. Let's find out. She needs to know, baby. She needs to know. We don't talk about Bruno. He will see something terrible and then crap. Boom! It will happen. We don't talk about Bruno. I love her energy though. We don't talk about Bruno! <laughs> Oh, she has a gorgeous voice. I love the way they're singing together. God, their voices sound amazing together. Also, I don't know precisely what it is, whether it's the melody, the composition, but just the energy coming out of these two is fantastic. Also makes me really curious about Bruno. <laughs> Wait, what? What happened? What? It just moved, just cut to another thing. The clip I was watching just like randomly cut halfway through the song and went to just other stuff promoting the show. So let's continue with the audio only version. Oh my God. Yo, this is fire. What the hell? What is going on with this musical? Why is everything so cool? I'm dying. This is amazing. I cannot believe how good this is. Even the compression on the vocals to really hit that style. Oh, and layered offbeat vocals. So he's like a curse. <laughs> Everything about this song is so damn interesting. And this little like bare bones bit with really high vocals is, I just, I can't overstate how good this is. Oh my God, we're getting a build? Hell yeah. I want to hear it hit again, hit me big. Oh my God, everyone's singing at once. Oh, it's so good. This, I cannot believe, it, I'm blown away. What the, what the, sh oh, I am, I have no words. <laughs> Wish I never talked about him because now everyone's singing about him. How does everything here keep taking me so off guard? I've been surprised about like everything and I love it. I am just being kept on my toes constantly. I, I gotta do it. I gotta, I gotta watch the movie. If you want me to watch the movie for a video, let me know down below in the comments because I will totally do it. The last one we're gonna listen to is called The Family Madrigal. I'm assuming this is like a leading song or the introductory song. I'm confused by those stairs. What is happening there? The amazing Madrigals. Who's all the amazing Madrigals? Ah, you're not gonna leave me alone, are you? Casita. Oh yeah. Drawers. Floors. <laughs> What's this magic? This is our home. We've got every generation. So oh, dude, the way she's banging on the doors for the beat. That was nice. Well, I run this show. I love that like the grandmother has her own little door portrait. Where all the people are magical, I'm part of family, magical. So is it a magic house? It feels like it. All right, relax. It is physically impossible to relax. <laughs> <laughs> Me. We don't talk about Bruno. <laughs> There's the reference. I know it sounds a bit fantastic. 
This is also such a bop. It's got a nice, like, got such a great groove to it. Oh, that's a lovely voice. The town keeps growing, the world keeps turning, but... And the slow, like, drift down in the melody is great. Wait, who's a sister and who's a cousin? There's so many people! <laughs> <laughs> Little known fact about me, I have a huge family. My dad has nine siblings. I think at this point, all of them have children. And I think each of them have, like, at least two kids. Then a lot of those kids have kids. And there are even a few of those kids who have kids. So when there's a McKenna family gathering, there's usually, like, 60 to 70 people there. <laughs> it can get huge. And that's not even talking about my mum's side that also has like 25 people. I got a lot of cousins. <laughs> so I am used to tracking very large families. <laughs> but if people do meet my family, they're very much like these kids. How do you keep track of everyone? One strong, one perfect in every way. Oh, dude, those visuals are gorgeous. The I love the rhythm of these lyrics too. Everything is hitting so nice. But what's your gift? <laughs> Music. I never meant this to get autobiographical. Who's just a review the family? Is she like ashamed of her gift or something? Dude, the way it's speeding up is amazing. Dude, the same note constantly is impressive. What are you doing? Dude. <laughs> uh, they were just asking about the family. And... She was about to tell us about her super awesome gift. Oh, Mirabel didn't get one. Oh, that's so sad. But I'm assuming the movie is about her getting her. So I will leave it with that little nugget of hope. I am like even more impressed than I expected to be. Everything in this video was fantastic, on point, unique, different, and interesting. I'm not kidding when I say I am thoroughly blown away. And I'm really, really glad I did this because it has a whole bunch of music that I really enjoy. And now I'm gonna watch a movie that I'm so certain I'm gonna love. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please don't forget to click that like button. And as always, have an awesome time until I see you next. See ya.